Alright, in this video I'm going to explain to you guys why the iPhone 6S backlight blows all the time. It, this is probably the most uh, third most common repair um, aside from the iPhone 6 Plus Touch IC and then the iPhone 6 backlight problem. So this is this is quickly becoming the second most common repair. Although you know, the Touch IC has been kind of dying lately because people are replacing the phone via Apple for 149 bucks versus uh, fixing it. Anyways, so I have an iPhone 6 here, 6S here, sorry, and I just um, disabled the auto lock to never, or I mean made the auto lock never so that the screen just stays on the whole time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blow the filter, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do here. Um, I'm just. I'm gonna lift the connector here. All right. You guys can see it here. I'm not gonna. I'm trying. I'm gonna try not to blow it. All right. So. So the screen is on. All right. So I just lifted the connector here. Okay. And let me switch to my microscope. All right. Um, you know what? I wonder if I can. No, I can't. I was gonna show you my multimeter as well, but you guys would just have to trust me on this. All right. So I'm gonna put my multimeter to voltage mode here, and I am looking through my microscope now. And so what I'm gonna do is measure some voltages um, to the backlight. All right. And the backlight system is. Let me see. Is that clear? Okay, that's kind of clear. Is that clear? Let me see if I can make this a little more clear for you guys. Alright, that's pretty clear now. Okay, so I'm going to measure some voltages here, okay? And you guys will just have to trust me on this. Um, so, voltage mode on the multimeter. This first pin is one of the backlight. Um, there's three backlight pins. So let's do this. Ground. So this is 0 0.2 volts. And then this is the big one right here. Don't short that sucker. This is 3.8 volts, okay. So I'm going to push the power button now. Actually, let me measure this voltage as well. Careful not to short it. 0.13 volts. So the big the big voltage is that one, about four volts. Okay. So I'm gonna push the power button, turn the screen off. There you go. I heard it. So the screen's off now. Can't see it, but so this is still 3.8 volts. So so here's here's the reason why it blows. Okay. The screen is off. Usually, in the, in the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, when the screen is off, and you disconnect the uh, cables, the LCD connector cable, um, the backlight filter is not going to blow because the screen is off. There's no power going to the screen. Okay. Well, in the 6s and the 6s Plus, the Mason chip, which this is the screen right here, this is the Mason chip. This handles the touch. Okay. This requires power. So. In order for this thing to work, the screen to work, it has to supply constant power to the screen. So even when the screen is off, we're still getting 4 volts. We're still getting 4 volts to this pin right here. It's, three, it's actually 3.8 volts. All right. So people think that the screen is off. Okay, I can remove it and put the put the screen back on. But as soon as they they um, Put the screen on, and you know these pins short, or you know this pin, this second pin right here shorts this one. This filter right here blows, and that's the usual culprit because that is the big, the big uh, voltage current um, pin right there. So you'll see a puff of smoke come from logic board. It's that filter right there that blows, and so that's the reason. There's a you know the mason chip is on on the board here. Constant power. Short to pin, boom, pop a smoke. All right, so 
that's why it blows. So, anyways, with the 6S, 6S Plus, make sure you disconnect the battery before you start doing any kind of screen repair, okay? You have to do it. Otherwise, things will blow, even if the screen is off. Thanks for watching.